everybody to the road show this morning in the buzz brought to you by the comedy connection yeah police are warning warning consumers about the rise of scammers selling fake stanley cups i know it's hard to believe as more people scramble to be part of the stanley cup trend police say scammers are taking advantage that's right so the price for the popular quencher stanley cup is between 35 to 50 dollars but police say some scammers are tricking customers by pretending to offer discounts. Now, according to MalwareTips.com, some of the phony websites are advertising the product for as low as $5.99. Which is never going to happen. Never going to happen. Never. So the Better Business Bureau says consumers should not take online ads at face value, and please recommend that all consumers keep their eye out for suspicious imitation websites. They're just called stands, mm -hmm. not Stan Lee's. Yeah, you know, like my Taylor Swift thing like, at like Christmas with the two T's. Yes, at the end. you got whack. Yeah, you I did. Right. Yes, you got. I you got sucked into that. I got sucked right in. <laughs> you got sucked into that. I understand. There have been things all of our lives that people go berserk for. When mm -hmm. I was a kid, I remember my sister wanting the Cabbage Patch. Oh yeah. Doll. Anna yeah. Hope over here in Seekonk. I remember her standing in line. Yeah. My mother waiting to get the Cabbage Patch doll. Oh yeah. Back in like the late seventies, early eighties. Yeah. That was a huge, huge craze. Huge. Huge craze. When I was also a kid, I remember I wanted Atari. Okay, yeah. Audrey, I wanted Atari so bad. Did you get it? My, well, my folks said no. <laughs> so you know what I did? Save up. I saved up my money, and they would. They said, you're going to buy the thing, yeah. and you're going to play for five minutes. And, and then, that's going to be it. It's going to be it. So just to prove a point, <laughs> I saved up my money, and I walked to Child World. that used to be on Newport Avenue in Pawtucket. I think there's a CVS over there. Right. Yeah. Yes. And I walked there, bought the Atari, yeah. set it up, and I played with it for played five with minutes. It for <laughs> There you go. But you paid for it. I wish it. I had it now, though. But oh, you paid for it. I wish I had it now. You know, for me, it was guest jeans. It yes. was um, the Benetton rugby shirts. Right. Those were a huge craze. Right. To be honest with you, the Cabbage Patch kids, they, they, I mean, I was that was within my age right. as well. Yep. I, I finally got, um, it's funny, we went, we got one, and believe it or not, its name was Iona Audrey. Really? Yeah. Wow. That yeah, was my you name. Get the, uh, the, you the get the birth, birth certificate. certificate. The birth certificate with so, it. Yes. And then do you guys remember my buddy? Oh, yeah. My buddy, my buddy, buddy Brett does. My buddy. Oh, I agree. Yes, I agree. Yes. Buddy. Yeah. So those, those were like <laughs> yes. a big, those were a big deal. So again, I know like every age group has, has their, their things, thing. but I'll tell you, Victoria's Christmas list. She wanted a Stanley. Right. These Stanleys are so. I mean, every kid you see walking into like an elementary, middle, even high school. Everybody's got it. And I have one, but you guys know, and I, and Brendan, you can attest to this. I've had one for like two and a half years. Right. So I did not jump on this bandwagon. Right. And right. I love them. I tell you, the ice stays cold. It's it does. The ice stays in it the does. thing all day. It does. My kid was going back to Boston. She had it in her bag. I said, they're, you better they're push fantastic. that way down so somebody doesn't rob you. But I could, use it. It's not just an accessory. Right. She could travel back to Boston in the Stanley. She could. That's how she big could. it is. Yes. And, uh, and you're right, Audrey. Ordinarily, I would be making fun of you. I know. In a friendly manner. But you had yours she way, have it. way before this craze. And I remember asking you, what is that? Right. And Audrey, what brand of jeans did you say it was? Guess. Do you remember Guess jeans? Guess jeans were With big. The, like, they had the little like triangle on the pocket in the back. So what brand? Guess. Levi's? Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. But, by the way, I remember when Stan Lee only made Marvel movies. Right. There you wow. go. Right. Guess the program. <laughs> but really, um, <laughs> you thought people hate Joe Coy. <laughs> but really, you have to be very careful with stuff like this because it kind of sets a precedent that you have to have it. I know. And you really don't. Mm -hmm. And if some, poor, if some kid doesn't have it, then all these other kids are on to leave them alone. And all, it's a water bottle. It's a water bottle. It's, it's a, as Lance Joe bottle. would say, it's a water bottle right you but it's a great water bottle look it's a great one yeah, it you guys it's gonna yeah. i don't want to say change your well, life that's a little bit overboard all right but you're gonna love it take all right. it easy i'll be looking for <laughs> check in with our viewers the stocking season. stuffer <laughs> it'll break the stocking yeah. ridiculous yeah. here's what the viewers had to say about this right here today priscilla's up first not a follower of these crazy trends i certainly will not stand in a line in a mad rush for these things there you go i won't either uh lucy shares we still have an old stanley bottle in our kitchen closet that we pull out every summer. We don't follow trends. We just hold on to items that may be old but still functional. That's yeah, true. Right. These things come back right. too. You never know. Stanley's from years ago. Greg has a fun <laughs> laid back take on all of this. Bandwagons are a lot of fun. Jump on, off, whatever. And James wraps up the comments echoing. <laughs> Actually, James tells us, follow us at The Road Show, <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, X, and Instagram. Actually, James had a great comment. He did say, I don't get into trends, but if you folks put out a roadshow water bottle, I would buy that. Yeah. 
Oh. How long have we been saying, <laughs> and it, it, the number of people who have told us they'd like to buy Roadshow merch? They're trying to steal the money. I don't know. All I can tell you is it's not our department. Thanks for chiming in, everyone. Follow us at the Roadshow. Well, you already know where. Leave your comments, and you never know. We might read yours right here on the air. Did you miss that? You did miss that. I missed that. it. <laughs> Still to come this morning on the Roadshow, we're back in the kitchen 